Hello, everyone. We are trying something ambitious. A little creative experimentation. A Convos mini-series where we're taking actual conversations like we normally do and combining them with some scripted storytelling. So we're going to be introducing some fictional characters and scenarios. Think of it as a hybrid. A uh, Convo short film. That's going to be three parts released over the next three Tuesdays. This is chapter one. We have to thank Audible.com for sponsoring this episode uh, because we couldn't execute this kind of larger concept without them. So thank you, Audible.com. Go to audible.com slash convos and get a free audiobook of your choice and so that we can keep doing cool stuff like this. Yes, thank you, Audible.com. And uh, be sure to tune in for the next three Tuesdays. Thank you for watching. Enjoy chapter one. Okay, Coco, let's go. I'm coming. Are the mugs we made for mom ready yet? They sure are. That's where we're going. We got a ride there. Okay, it's the really fast. Look what I can do. Oh, good one. Hello. Mm. Hey, bro in law. Still retired? Hey, Dylan. Once again. Raising a child is far from retirement. In fact, it's the most important job in the world. Probably not. Pretty sure those ninjas in Japan fixing Fukushima. Okay, watch your language. Uh, you're on speakerphone. Coco's here. What are you talking about? It's the name of a place. How about a little heads up on the speakerphone etiquette next time? Hey, Coco. Hey. Right, sorry. You just have a reputation for... For what? What, I'm not, I'm not allowed to say names of cool places anymore? Like Bum Bum Venezuela? Bum Bum. Okay, great. That's super. It's the name of a city, dude. It's like Wet Wang, England. Wet Wang! Ah, nice, Coco. See, she's learning geometry. Yeah, you mean the geography. Sorry, what? What are you uh, calling for? You uh, you guys coming for dinner or what? Oh, yeah, that's what I'm calling. So I'm wondering what I should get Leela for Mother's Day. You mean Layla? I'm pretty sure I know my sister-in-law's name, dude. Tina's put me in charge of getting the gift. She's racked with the pregnancy brain. Right, she's four weeks pregnant. Oh, yeah. Time flies. I'm thinking I should get her a mug. Something with a witticism on it. You know, moms are cool. How's that witty? Because moms aren't cool. Right, right. Okay, you can't get her a mug. I make mugs. Yeah, Coco handmade these mugs. Uh, painted them. They're, they're beautiful, actually. What? Hand-painted? Listen, I've seen her work. It's not that strong. Plus, what am I supposed to get her now? Uh-oh, I gotta go. I gotta go. Coco, what? hold on. No. Hello? 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 Ooh. Okay. I'm okay. Maddie boy, spiky in here. Maddie boy, oh, Fukushima. Oh my God, what's happened? The mug store's gone. Oh my God. Yeah, everything. Well, there's no sink. There's no sink, there's no tables. There's no nothing. No nothing. Where'd it go? I don't know. I guess they went out of business. Maybe they just, you know, went out of order. Out of order? Yeah. Like, like, you know, like a ride. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I don't think that's what happened. I think they're just gone. And what about the mugs? I guess they're gone too. Here one day, gone the next. Really makes you think about the mugs you have, doesn't it? Come on, it's all right, we'll get mom something else. Hey, we need to talk about this. This is an emergency. Do you think they were ghosts? What? Maybe they were just ghosts. And they went like, like whoosh, you know, and just disappeared. Guess. Yeah. Yeah, I think that they were ghosts. Check your teeth. What? Check your teeth. Maybe they're hiding in there. Anything? No. Tell him about the mug store. Uh, just need to get some fish. 
Tell him. He doesn't want to hear the story. Tell him. So, great story. Uh, yesterday, we went to the mug store and painted some mugs there on the corner for my wife. And today, when we went to go pick them up, we uh, walked up to the front of the store to our complete shock and amazement. The entire store is cleared out. <laughs> Everything was gone. <clears throat> no, 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 Dad. You have to speak bear. Bear, right. Uh, there was no sink? Yeah, I'm getting to that. I'm getting to that. Right? You heard about the mug store? The mug store's closed! Okay. Okay. Gone! All right. No mug store! Yep. Just whoo! It's okay. I think they were ghosts. Uh thank you. For watching Chapter 1, tune in next Tuesday for Chapter 2. Hope you enjoyed it. Very much. Thanks again to our sponsor, Audible.com, for making this possible. Thank you. Audible.com is a huge supplier of uh, audiobooks on the internet. Uh, over like 700,000 700, titles. 700,000. Every kind of genre you could enjoy. Um, you can download your free audiobook at audible.com slash convos. Uh, I'm uh, downloading right now, still fooling them, uh, by Billy Crystal. Well, not by Billy Crystal, but about Billy Crystal. Maybe by it is Diddle by. Crystal. Is it by? It is. Check it out. <laughs> Can you even see that though? I don't know. Can you see mine? I downloaded a home game. Yeah, it's, it's not stuff. in focus. We're outside. We need a, we need a focus puller. We need That's a focus okay. puller. A uh, home game by Michael Lewis, which is uh, an awesome book on on parenting. He wrote like The Blind Side and uh, Moneyball and all those great books. Both and it's really his good. journal on parenting. It's very funny. If you're a dad, I think you're going to really enjoy it. Check it out. Mm -hmm. um, thanks so much for watching. This is a fun little experiment that we're trying uh, for a few episodes. We're going to see how it goes. Please let us know your thoughts in the comments. We're always eager to hear how much you love us and the things. Or that we maybe do. you're like, got some notes. That's right. Probably. Give us you some probably notes. Have, you always have things to say. So I like a always... note. I like a good note as long as it's delivered nice. Yeah, I don't like the way you delivered that. See, you could have maybe constructively said that. Like, perhaps, maybe, David, you should uh, uh, more positively frame how you would like notes delivered. That's a better way to deliver that note. That was a good note on how I can deliver a note. Perhaps you, guys. you can deliver us notes like that. Thank you very much. See you next week.